was restored to its original layout in 1994 by famed architect Reese Jones. Hi everyone, I'm Kelly Tillman for EA Sports, and with me today is Scott Van Pelt calling the action. Let's get down to the first tee. Looks like the golfers are going to have to deal with some rain today. Pressel needs this for birdie. This putt for par. Morgan Pressel, this is for bogey. To score well at East Lake, players can't afford to miss the green on the short side of the flagstick. That's particularly true here. This par three plays a bit shorter than yardage, but it's a must to put the ball on the green. The green slopes dramatically from back to front and from left to right, and is guarded by bunkers on the left and front. No more rain for now. Still some clouds in the sky, though. Going with a little more loft here. Russell has this for birdie. It's a good looking stroke. Easy putt from this close. A solid par to stay one over. A fairway wood should be the club of choice on this short par four, leaving the player with a short iron to the green. The front of the green is guarded by two large bunkers that are especially called if the hole is cut on the right portion of the green. The green slopes from back to front and has several dominating ridges that make this green difficult to read. Increase the loft here, Scott. Kelly, this is right where she wanted to hit it. Nice open look at the flag from there. She's got some work ahead of her here. Medium rough here. No shame in missing that putt. Gotta give it a chance from this distance. A double bogey to drop two shots.
The fourth is a long straightaway par four. Players will want to avoid the two fairway bunkers on the right to set up a mid-iron approach to this green. The green slopes from left to right, making the left hole locations the most difficult. Caught a good break in the rough here, Kelly. Not bad at all. Going with a lower shot here, Scott. Sitting down a little here. Looks like she's found the rough. Could be trouble. Found the deep stuff with that shot. Decent lie here. <laughs> That's a beauty. A terrible turn of events on this hole. The first par five at East Lake typically appears shorter than a yardage as the hole plays downhill and downwind. A good drive will leave the player with a fairway wood to the large green or a mid iron to lay up short of the right side fairway bunker. Two bunkers to the left and one on the back right frame a very undulating green that slopes from front to back. Time for a little damage control. Found the green, Kelly, just not very close. This for par. That was a poor excuse for a putt. This is for bogey. Maybe a little adrenaline behind that putt, Kelly. Putting here for a double bogey. Hit a good putt there. Can't be too upset with that one. Tough to miss from this distance, but it has happened. That hole was a mess. One of the first island holes in America, this 168-yard par 3 is an intimidator, especially with the prevailing wind pushing the ball towards the water on the right of the green. The only bailout is a bunker on the left of the green, which provides another terrifying shot. The most challenging hole location is front right, but back left behind the bunker is also tough.
Well played there. A birdie here, if it goes in. Drops it. The seventh is a slight dog leg to the left that demands accuracy off the tee. A fairway bunker along the right side will punish a drive straying in that direction, resulting in a difficult approach shot. The second shot must navigate two deep green side bunkers in order to find the two-tiered green, which the players are unable to see from the fairway. trying to get this ball up in the air. She's dead on target with this drive. The next shot will be played from the short grass. And this one is heading for the green. Pressel has this for birdie. That putt looked good most of the way. A solid par. The shortest par four on the golf course is a dog leg left with bunkers and trees on the left side of the fairway that should deter players from cutting the corner. Although it's often thought of as a birdie hole, number eight has a relatively small, firm green and is surrounded by a deep bunker on the front and thick rough on all sides. Birdies might not be as plentiful as one would think. Bad hop there. It's in the sand. Got the ball above the feet on this one, Scott. Could be interesting. I'm trying to pop this ball up into the air. This shot should find the green. A birdie opportunity. That's a good lag from that distance. Routine par. The big hitter that finds the fairway will reap the rewards on the ninth hole. A long drive will provide an opportunity to reach the green in two, especially if the hole plays downwind. The second shot will either be a mid to long iron to lay up short of a fairway bunker on the left, or a fairway wood to try and make the green in two. 
The green is guarded by deep bunkers and anything long will be a difficult up and down. A very challenging finish to an excellent first nine. Here we go with the driver. Not a good haul. That ball is definitely wet. Be thrilled with this lie. I don't think she'll be happy with this one. This rough doesn't look good. This shot might find the water. I don't foresee any trouble here. The important thing here is to stay dry. Don't be surprised if she finds the drink with this shot. The first par five on the backside is guarded by three bunkers down the left side of the fairway. A good drive will leave the player with a long iron or fairway wood to lay up short and right of the green side bunkers. The green slopes severely from back right to front left, making lag putting from the back a real chore. A birdie on this hole is commendable. This ball is finished in the rough. It's in the rough, but it's not the heavy stuff. Not a gimme, but it's makeable. Just a bad judge of speed with that roll. This to finally end a terrible hole. Depending on the wind, the tee shot to the elevated green ranges from a 4-iron to a 6-iron for most players. The green is 38 yards deep and the back portion is blind from the tee. A large oak protects the right side of the green and the front is pinched by a pair of deep bunkers. 
Side hill putts often have four or five feet of break, and putts from above the hole are surprisingly quick. Open the face up on this one, little Scott. Cutting for birdie. Look for a break to the left on this hole. That putt should have gone in. Don't get careless on the little ones. A two putt par. Most players will hit fairway woods or long irons off the tee on this downhill par four. An overhanging tree and deep rough on the left of the fairway makes this hole very tough from that side. The right center of the fairway is the ideal location, leaving a short iron to the green. This one is for birdie. Can't get careless on these short ones. She rolled it in for par. Number 13 is a good driving hole. From the championship tee box, players will aim just to the right of the fairway bunkers. A left center fairway position is ideal. Right center is workable, but it means dealing with the right greenside bunker on the approach. Like many others at East Lake, the green is sloped from back to front, making ball position on the green critical. Going with a little more loft here. It's in the rough, and the lie is kind of indifferent. Oh, what a shot. Ouch, double bogey there.
Old oaks and tall pines grow close to the fairway on both sides of this straightaway par four, making it a very tight and demanding driving hole. Longer tee shots could have a difficult side hill stance along the right side of the fairway. The two-tier green is bunkered on both sides, with the green running from back to front. Players placing their ball on the proper tier below the pin will have opportunities to birdie this hole. Should get a good shot from here. Safe, but not that great. For birdie. Well, it's definitely got enough speed. In, in fact, it's got too much. Makes bogey and drops a shot. With a good drive, players will reach this short par five in two. A well-bunkered green poses some problems if missed long or on the short side. One of the easiest holes at East Lake, a par here will drop a shot to the field. Trying to launch this one up into the air. Not gonna have trouble spinning the next one from here. <laughs> Give me a break, what was that? should probably take a little bit more club from this lie, Kelly. She's in the rough. this to save par. The hole must look huge from here. Drops a shot with that bogey. This picturesque hole provides a commanding view of the Atlanta skyline and East Lake. Equally commanding is the tee shot required to play this hole well. The fairway narrows from the tee, making driving accuracy a premium. From here, a mid to long iron is needed to reach this green. Two large bunkers await any area approaches to a large receptive green which slopes from back to front. It's found the short grass. 170 yards to the hole here.
It's gonna be a long putt from here. This for Birdie. Look for a break to the right here. She got the par. Two bunkers lie to the right of the fairway landing area on this final par four at Eastlake. The approach is played to a large undulating green that's flanked by a big bunker to the right and one short of the putting surface to the left. A predominant ridge crosses the center of this green, making it tough to get the ball close to back hole locations. Yep, it's found the fairway. Kelly, this one is in the sand. Looking at a sand save opportunity here, always tough. It's a sand wedge. Looking for par. It's important to have a short memory with putts like that one, Kelly. Oh, this won't be happy about this one. A bit too aggressive. No chance for that putt. Not an easy hole there. Depending on the wind, the players could use anything from a fairway wood to a long iron on this demanding par three. The two-tiered green doesn't leave much room for error with deep bunkers guarding both the left and right side. Any shot that's above the hole must be treated with extra care as this green is one of the most difficult to putt at East Lake. This hole should provide plenty of drama in tournament play. Thank you. 